During his playing career, David Cohn pitched for each of the teams in our game. He joins us now, obviously, on set. Happy to have you. First topic of discussion, the five-game win streak the Yankees are on, led by five straight quality starts. David, certainly over these last few games, the starting rotation has done their part. Well, they really have. I mean, you're starting to see a path right now for the Yankee rotation after all the struggles, all the worry. All of a sudden, Nathan Evaldi's taking that next step. He's, he's getting that excellent fastball along with that splitter going into good command locations. CC Sabathia as well, you know, found his change up throwing so well. Uh, and then, of course, Ivan Nova, just a ground ball machine. It seems like every time he throws his fastball, they beat it into the ground. And, of course, that Yankee defense is playing very well up the middle. Castro and Gregorius. So Michael Pineda finally bouncing back. He's kind of been the mystery of it all with that great stuff and that great slider. But he always seems to hang one at the wrong time. But his last start much better. So I think there's hope. There's definitely a path forward that the Yankees can see that they can maintain this rotation going forward. Yeah, a couple of inter interesting points, rather, on a couple of these guys. CeCe told our Kenny Singleton that he changed the grip. He found something. He really did. I mean, uh, it's something that I w I'd like to talk to him about. I mean, what did he find? All of a sudden, his changeup started to stop and dive down and away. And a lot of times in the past, we've seen CeCe kind of struggle with that changeup at times. Sometimes it would go the other way, our left to right mo motion, what we call kind of a, a cut changeup that he's not really wanting for that changeup. You want that changeup to fade down and away. It's been dynamite for CeCe the last several starts, and his fastball is moving all over the place. That two seam fastball is really kind of honing in to moving to the right location when he needs. He can throw it for strikes, get ground balls, actually getting swings and misses with that pitch. So maybe the second year after he's incorporated that two-seam fastball, after all those years of being a four-seam fastball pitcher, more of a power guy, I think he's getting the feel for it now. And uh, it, it's moving like crazy all over the place. He really looks like a different pitcher. Yeah, it's working for him. And uh, a couple of the other guys, you mentioned Evaldi. He's certainly been dominant last couple of times out. And Ivan Nova, I feel, is interesting, making a statement like he should have been in that starting rotation from the get-go. Yeah, you could tell that, you know, Ivan Nova is, is a very proud guy. You know, he really wanted to win that spot out of spring training, was very deflated when he didn't get the fifth starter spot. It was kind of a mixed bag of results for him out of the bullpen. But now all of a sudden, he's in that rotation. He, he gains confidence with each passing inning. Every time he has a good inning, you can see he looks like a different guy on the mound. He looks very, very confident, very much in the present. And that sinker is just diving like crazy. I mean, his ground ball rate, a little shy of 70 percent. That would be the leader in the American League once he qualifies, you know, for innings pitch. So uh, certainly, you know, Nova's probably thrown about 50 percent ground balls in his career of all the pitches that he puts in play. Uh, 65 to 70 percent is just remarkable. Uh, it's a real weapon to be able to throw that many ground balls. And Evaldi's another guy that gets a lot of ground balls. So we'll see what happens tonight.